All right, we start with breaking news at five o'clock. Another woman accuses Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax of sexual assault. Here's part of the statement from an attorney's office. We serve as counsel for Meredith Watson, who was raped by Justin Fairfax in 2000, while they were both students at Duke University. Mr. Fairfax's attack was premeditated and aggressive. The two were friends, but never dated or had any romantic relationship. All right, let's get right to Jacqueline Lee, and she's live at the Capitol. And Jacqueline, you reached out to Fairfax, his office. That's right, Janet and David, I gave them a call. They ignored my phone call. Just when you think the political scandal can't get any worse here in the Commonwealth, you have a second woman coming forward accusing Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax of raping her during their time at Duke University. And this comes after a lawmaker today told me that he feels there was a rush to judgment with Governor Ralph Northam. In the middle of the political scandal taking Virginia politicians to task, their call amidst the chaos is simple. We're very, very focused on getting our job done here. As the state's four top officials battle their way through devastating discoveries and bombshell admissions, Virginia is now at the forefront of tough conversations that interweave race, politics and sex. This is simply a reminder for a lot of people of what the South was always like. 13 News Now political analyst Quentin Kidd said the Commonwealth will bear a scar from this moment in history, but the state can and will recover. I would have a hard time seeing it have um, a negative impact in terms of other businesses or people moving to Virginia, in part because it isn't something that any elected official is advocating or pushing for it's 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 something that happened in the in in somebody's past that they're having to pay amends for however party alliances are in shambles and trust among constituents is fractured Virginia Beach Senator Frank Wagner says it's time to heal. I think real emotions and real feelings have come out this week, and, and uh, I think it gives us all time for reflection to see where we are today, how far we've come from the times when those photos were clearly something funny, to where we are today, to where we need to be. Norfolk Delegate Joe Lindsay, member of the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus, said Virginia will move forward as it always does by prioritizing the agenda of the people. We're getting the work done. You know, the scandal is, is, is how others determine it, and that's what history will determine. The work is what we're doing, and we're, and we're doing it effectively. And before this breaking news regarding Lieutenant Governor Fairfax's uh, second accuser, the Virginia House Democrats said they would be speaking with constituents this weekend, so we will be waiting on a statement from them. Live in Richmond, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.